Today, I'm going to be reading Chapter 9 of The Night at Dawn by Mary Pope Osborne. This chapter is titled Under the Moon. Jack froze. It's him, Annie whispered. The knight held out his hand, gloved hand. Come on, Jack, Annie said. Where are, we, where are you going, said Jack. He wants to help us, said Jack. How do you know? I can just tell, said Annie. Annie stepped toward the horse. The knight dismounted. The knight picked up Annie and put her on the back of, the, of his horse. Come on, said Jack, she called. Jack slowly to- toward the knight. It was like a dream. The knight picked him up, too. He placed Jack on the horse behind Annie. The knight got on behind them. He slapped the runes. The black horse c- catered beside the moonlight, the moonlit water of the moat. Jack rocked back and forth in the saddle. The wind blew th- his hair. He felt brave, very brave, and very powerful. He felt as he could ride forever on his horse with a mysterious knight. Over the ocean, over the world, over the moon. A hawk shrieked in the darkness. There's the treehouse, said Annie. She pointed towards a grove of trees. The knight steered the horse towards the trees. See, there it is, Annie said, pointing to the ladder. The knight brought his horse to, to a stop. He dismounted and helped Annie down. Thank you, sir, she said, and she bowed. And then Jack, thank you, he said, and he, he bowed also. The knight got back on his horse. He raised his gloved hand. Then he slapped the reins and rode off through the mist. Annie started up the tall ladders, and Jack followed. They climbed into a dark tree, dark tree house, and followed out the window. The knight was riding towards the outer wall. They saw him go through the outer gate. Clouds started to cover the moon again. For a brief moment, Jack thought he saw the knight's armor gleaming on the top of a hill beyond the castle. The clouds covered the moon completely, and a blast mist, mist swallowed the land. He's gone, whispered Annie. Jack shivered in his wet clothes as he kept staring at the blackness. I'm cold, said Annie. Where's the Pennsylvania book? Jack heard Annie fumble in the darkness. He kept looking out the window. I think this is it, said Annie. I feel a silly bookmark. Jack was only half listening. He was hoping to see the knight's armor gleam again in the distance. Okay, I'm going to use this, said Annie, because I think it's the right one. Here it goes. Okay, I'm pointing. I'm going to, I, I, I'm going to wish. I wish we could go to Frog Creek. Jack heard the wind begin to blow softly at first. I hope I pointed to the right picture in the right book, said Annie. What? Jack looked back at her. Right picture, right book. The treehouse began to rock. The wind got louder and louder. I hope it wasn't the dinosaur book, said Annie. Stop, shouted shouted at the treehouse. Too late. The treehouse started to spin. It was spinning and spinning. The wind was screaming, and then suddenly there was silence. Absolute silence. That's where I'm leaving off today. Thank you for listening.